Good morning and welcome back to the Apocalypse here in Project Zomboid in Fort Rock Ridge in the land of the Fence Cheese. Um, so today I'm trying to do what I wanted to do yesterday, which is head out with the good old shotgun and see if we can make some friends. Well, actually... The shotgun is more or less only backup. The friend maker of choice is going to be the splitting axe today. A little bit curious about some of these zombies here, but I think this is just a spear with a knife. That's probably just another hunting rifle. Get some friends across the fence. Alright, another um, snow ghillie suit. You're fast. Doesn't help you. This guy's not coming from up there. Okay, they're not. Just one, two, three, four, five, okay. Good old X still has it. And eventually, um, we also need to clear out the road near the gates, so we can actually drive up here and not have to walk this way all the time, but I think at the moment the distance is not that far. to judge like their sidelines into this compound is kind of limited and no idea what to expect from the hospital I still I expected huge hordes to pour out from it and so far it's been like 20 zombies at most yeah, as much as I want to use melee I think good old shotgun blast would get the the zombie's rolling a little bit better here. But let me just, you know... Just to make my intentions clear here. Get some, some runners immediately coming from up there. Let's 
coming a little bit to the point where I might regret having put the the blood decals back on. There's a good chance you might just see them. Uh, I might have turned them off by the next time I'm recording because I'm going to be playing on a new multiplayer server with maximum, like actual maximum zombie population. That is 16 times population with uniform distribution. And uh, that's so many zombies. You, you can't have blood splatters. That's just gonna... Just gonna ruin your FPS. Reload. Don't open the reload wheel, just reload. Making sure nobody's behind me, okay. many bodies here on this road. I'm sure we're gonna get the the cop sickness again during the day here. There's not much we can do about that though. Reddit post the other day about somebody who was burying every single zombie he kills. Considering if you dig a grave, you can put at most five bombies, uh, bombies? zombie bodies into it. Um, so we would have to dig a lot of graves. Doesn't look in here now. Still one fool inside. Tempt me game. No, I think that is a really bad idea. Um, I don't. Maybe it's just the battery is empty and I can't even honk in that car? Do you need a Get somebody's attention. Let's 
Put more red up. We're gonna run for the for the car here. So I think I'm gonna shoot to make him uh, let him know he's looking the wrong direction. Oh boy, that's a lot of fast moving zombies here. Them loaded. Reload often, reload early. This is uh, a little bit terrifying. Excuse me. Perfect time for the weapon to start jamming. Love it. Oh, yeah, we're making some friends here. Maybe honking was a little bit over ambitious. No, you may not come in. This is this is my part of the base. I'm probably running out of shells here in a second, or rather out of shells available. I know it's saying 130 in the top left, but a bunch of those are in boxes still, so I need to do some unboxing. Need to make sure nobody snuck through here to the to the left. That's all my table. What's up with you guys? There we go. Easy peasy, it wasn't even concerned. Uh, 
I kind of kind of said to myself, I'm not gonna go stabbing again at the fence. I guess shooting through the fence is not stabbing, right? Yeah, we were down down to thirteen actual shells here. Yeah. I was wondering if I if I want to grab a vehicle with a siren and put it like on the in the corner top left here. Get them all gathered up there on the fence and then check in three days how many we got. I'm getting concerned. We're getting very close to shooting and aiming nine, which obviously we need to catch up on on these two here. And I haven't even read the book for long, but um, anyway, let's. I guess we grab some more shotgun shells. Like on the one hand, I'm, I'm always thinking, yeah, we're doing a lot of shooting, but that number of zombies we just fought trying to fight that just with melee is probably gonna be like a adventure for multiple days maybe, maybe I grabbed a little bit too much ammo there right, let's have a good old MRE lunch Heat it up. Ooh, we have graham crackers instead of normal crackers today. Fancy food. Moving on. suspect that this was not all of it, that there's still gonna be a bunch at the car that I honked with, maybe? No, I think we got them all with the shotgun sounds. Also gonna be become more and more tricky to actually spot the zombies between all the bodies, yeah. Hey, just keep coming. Where are you coming from? Looks like we're gonna have another big wave coming in for us. That we're probably gonna fight all the way back to the fence line again. A 
maybe we can hold here. Might not be that many. It's become really a uh, little bit tricky depending on the zoom level to make out which are the zombies. The moving ones and the ones on the ground. And the ones on the ground still moving. The other thing I'm, I'm kind of concerned about, well, not concerned about, um, when I was looting the bunkers and the, the hangars and everything, I didn't grab all the ammo. Right, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna use that much. And we're going through like almost 30 boxes of shotgun shells here in a single day. That, that is a lot of ammo. There's still zombies in the parking lot. What the hell? At least I feel like we got a few more out of the... Out of the hospital now. Also like looting garages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Large gas can. Okay, you know what? To to finish off the day here a little bit. I want to give this thing. It's it's deserved to try. It swings like a baseball bat. a little bit slower. So far every, every swing has been a one shot. Take one more group, yeah. Okay, nothing's coming from behind. Okay, looks good.
Nobody running. Cool. I think I'm gonna fall back for today. A little bit early, but um, feeling we might get might get drowsy very soon again. It's usually like twelve hours that that I can go through here with this character between waking up and getting drowsy. And I think we woke up at six thirty, so six thirty. Make sure there are no surprises back here. Okay, looks good. Time for the impenetrable barrier. I gotta train my my short plate. No, I actually don't. What am I doing with you guys? So yeah, I'm still thinking about the idea of putting some car all the way in the corner there, and maybe maybe just honking a few times. See what we can pull out of the woods there. Yeah, that's something I can do here with the, the rest of the day. I don't think I have a siren vehicle here. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go here. Well, I'm gonna see how much missile we're gonna pull in here. Oh, this is a little bit silly, isn't it? What in the world is happening here? Like, look at the numbers of zombies here. Can I ever say that I would reasonably just go through the forest there to the bunker and arrive there alive? Ah. 14, 2 to 8. And let's use uh, the magic of cutting to see how many we're going to be left with, uh, we're going to have here after killing all of these. Well, we're coming to the last few. So, casually. Lured in what? 
440 zombies and killed them here in two hours of shotgun blasting at the fence. That was interesting. I, I'm not gonna say that was... F well, it was fun in a way, but also I felt a little bit bad doing this. Not bad enough that I won't try it again another night. Um, all right. We're tired and all. I'm just gonna do a very quick tour to make sure that honking didn't attract something here on the other end of the, the base. No, nobody on the on the tables. A few guys here, but we'll we'll deal with that in the morning. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna head upstairs here to our nice little base. A MRE dinner. I want to look on the other way and wait. Still going down. Yeah, we definitely need to need to eat some more. But I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.